Welcome to The Wow Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. That's right, folks. This has been sold out everywhere in Canada, and I managed to get one of these Camlink 4K adapters this past week. Probably just out of pure luck that there was one available. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox the Camlink and go through a step-by-step -step process on how to set this up. In the end, I'm gonna show you how to use this for your Zoom meetings. As you're watching and you find this video helpful, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for similar content. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing and setup. Here is the Camlink 4K by Elgato. Unleash your camera. Turn around, simplify your workflow, stream and record with your favorite tools, level up your content, live creation in 4K or Full HD, plug and produce, easily connect your camera via HDMI. System requirements is a Windows PC or Mac OS, fourth generation Intel Core i5, and it does recommend having a GPU, so either NVIDIA GTX or AMD RX card. All right, so let's take a look and open it up. So here's the cam link. It's very light, USB 3, HDMI port. Here comes, here's a HDMI. Oh, USB 3, to USB 3, I guess an extender. Comes with an Elgato sticker. And then on here, gives you the instructions of what to do. Download a Gato 4K capture utility to get started. Plug it in and see what happens. All right, so that's it for the box. That's for the unboxing of the Camlink 4K. Okay, so before I actually hook up the camera, I need to download the application and drivers for the Camlink 4K. So on the box, right here in the inside cover actually gives you the download link for you to download. So I'm actually gonna put this link in the description below so you guys have it as well. So the one we do now is I'm gonna go ahead and download the link onto my computer and then I'm gonna connect my camera to the Camlink 4K. All right. Okay, we're gonna type in the Gato download link that's provided inside the box. Algo.com slash gaming slash download. Yeah, so it gives me a 404 error, page error. So I'm just gonna hit the capture link. Hopefully there's a product page there. And then I'm gonna scroll towards the Camlink 4K, select that. Gives me a product overview. If I'm interested in the drivers. So on the top right hand corner, there's a downloads link. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna scroll down to 4K Capture Utility for Windows. And then when I hit the plus sign, it says that it's compatible with the Camlink 4K. And I'm just gonna download this utility. So my PC is set up to go to my download folder, which is where it's gonna be. And you can see the progress of the download on the bottom left hand side. And once it's done, I'm just going to right click in the little arrow there. I'm going to click show in folder, which goes to my download link. I'm going to right click on the app, I'm going to install it, I'm going to click next, 
I'm going to accept the terms of agreement. I'm just going to scroll down saying that I read it. Hit next again. I'm just going to uncheck that because I don't want to send my information out. Hit next install. And wait for it to complete the installation process. Once it's done, I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to shut down the applications and start the 4K utility tool. I want to pin this to my taskbar, so I'm going to click on the Windows icon, search for Elgato, 4K utility, I see it there. I'm going to right click, I'm going to select more and pin to taskbar. So this gives me easy access. At the same time, I'm going to put it onto the desktop. I'm going to drag it there. Oh, however, you know what? There's actually one already there for you. Before you start using any digital camera as a webcam, most digital cameras now have an auto shut off feature. So in this case, I have the Fuji X-H1. By default, after two minutes of inactivity, the camera automatically shut itself off. Now this could be annoying um, when you're trying to use this as a webcam because you don't want to continually hit the shutter button to activate it to keep it moving. So what you have to do is turn off the power management feature. So one of the cons of using your digital camera as a webcam is the power source. In my case, both the Fuji X-H1 and X-T3, the batteries are known to go through very quickly and I'm going to cycle through them very quickly. However, in the webcam point of view, especially if I'm doing an interview or if I'm doing a conference, I can't be changing my batteries every 20 minutes. So make sure that you have a continual power source going to your camera. So that's one thing to take note of. All right, so let me show you for the Fuji X-H1 how to turn off the power management. It's actually exactly the same as in the X-T3. In the menu section, go to the wrench, click on power management, scroll to the right, auto power is set to two minutes off. I'm gonna change that to off. So I'm gonna scroll down, off, and go back to my main menu, and now I want power off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through my gear setup. I have a Fuji X-H1 with a Samyang 12 millimeter F2 lens. I wanted to use a 12 millimeter lens because it's nice and wide, um, perfect for those kind of webcam shots. And it allows me to be very close and I can manually focus it. So, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this lens. Um, it's on a Manfrotto Pixie tripod. And because I'm a Fuji user, I have to use a specific cable. So I'm gonna be using an HDMI to a micro HDMI cable. I am going to connect the micro HDMI cable. And then the HDMI end, I'm gonna plug into the cam link. So now the cam link, I'm gonna plug it into my USB 3 switch. And that's it. I'm gonna turn on my X-H1. I'm gonna point it towards me first. And then I'm gonna start the 4K capture tool from Elgato on my desktop. And we'll see if it works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna launch the 4K capture utility tool. My X-H1 is on. And there you go, it popped up right away. So it's great. The Elgato cam link recognizes the Fuji X-H1 signal, which is streaming it to my desktop. Now I can use this as a webcam. I'm now gonna demonstrate using the Fuji X-H1 as a webcam using Zoom. So the first thing you have to do is actually turn off or close down the capture utility tool. So I'll close it off. I'm gonna launch Zoom. Right, start. I'm going to say join with computer audio. And on the bottom left hand side, I'm going to make sure that the cam link 4K is selected. So once it's selected, I turn on start video. And there you go. So now when I use Zoom, I can use my Fuji X-H1 as my main camera. It's a lot better quality than a normal laptop camera, as well as even my iPhone camera. So there you go. Now you can use your Fuji X-H1 or Fuji X-T3 as a webcam for your Zoom meetings, web meetings, and Skype meetings. I have used it for all three 
platform and I've not had an issue. As long as you select Cam Link 4K from the video options, it'll always show this feed. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments about the setup or if you have questions about your setup, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Stay tuned for my next video as I'm gonna do a comparison between using the built-in camera on your laptop, using the iPhone camera, and then using the Fuji X-T3 as a webcam. I'm gonna see if people in my Zoom meetings actually notice the difference. So thank you for watching, and until next time.